this and I'm going to start making some uh, short videos about my Mardave collection. Uh, I've been building my collection now for nearly 10 years so I've uh, managed to uh, put together quite a, a good number of them. Uh, this year being the 50th anniversary of Mardave's um, building of radio control cars, it seems like the perfect time to do it. I've started with the Marada as this was the car that originally got me into collecting the brand. This is the, the first Marada that I actually worked on. This one here was picked up second hand, really poor condition and uh, with very little expense picked up the new parts that were needed, body shell from Camtech, new wheels and tyres off eBay which was a very lucky find and the CV joints which were direct from Mardave and that was a really tidy looking car, I was really pleased with it. So these were released in 1981 and this was the original format of the car. This particular one I managed to find new in box and I believe this would have been released um, just before they changed over to the slightly updated design. So it has the, uh, the, the later dish wheels and spiked tyres whereas the box art that had the spoked wheels with the foam tyres and I think even by today's standards they're a great looking car. Mardave um, actually they produced these cars for I believe nearly 15 years you can see why because they just look so cool these racing around on grass fields would have looked amazing. So under the body shell, I was really lucky with this one that I picked up. The uh, person who had originally brought it had actually brought all of the period cracked um, parts to go with it. So it had the uh, cracked exhaust pipe, the um, really sort of well suited cone air filter there and um, there's actually a steel drive gear as well in the box but I've actually used the plastic one due to wanting to keep it really factory for the uh, the build that I did. <clears throat> the radio box as you can see has not been cut out as again wanted to keep it all really stock and not go cutting things up. If you're buying these second hand something that is going to be really common on these is the, uh, the front of the chassis there. The, uh, these cars they didn't have brakes so they've they've had a lot of bumps a lot of the runners and that front chassis took a lot of bashes so a lot of those have been bent another thing is the spur gear a lot of the cars that were running um, the plastic spur gear suffered quite a lot of damage and then you can't really see it in there but the CV joints as well um, a lot of those again got damaged through running um, or have perished because the original ones were they were black rubber. Uh, I know Mardave they do sell the CV joints and they've actually recently started selling a number of the um, parts for the front assembly as well so they're actually a really easy car to work on but yeah great looking car definitely one of my favourites and I will be adding more cars uh, really soon. Thank you.